So Oklahoma, instead of being on their own four-yard line, the ball is pushed up all the way to the 18-yard line, so they get a little bit of running room. And the Sooners with that potent offense. Number 11 in total offense in the NCAA. Josh Heupel, their quarterback. Fumble, ball is loose. Oklahoma State has it at the 10. So Golden makes up for the brain cramp at the four-yard line, and he comes up with a loose ball. A blitz that time by Oklahoma State as Hypo was going to hand the ball off to Quentin Griffin running around. He misses the handoff, and the blitzing linebacker falls on the football. One of the things that happens when there's a threat of blitz, sometimes the quarterback gets a little bit nervous and he's not quite as smooth in handling the football. Well, that's the 20th fumble for the Sooners this year. They've lost 12. They have been costly because their turnover margin is not good. And you can see Oklahoma State's numbers from the red zone. First and goal from the 10, a little razzle-dazzle. They fumble the ball and Oklahoma has it! Davis comes up with a loose ball, the senior out of El Reno, Oklahoma. Interesting call here. You're going to see the reverse develop. Jamal Fobbs is lined up as a wide receiver. He comes around and tries to get the handoff from Nathan Simmons, but they mishandle the football. Yep. Unbelievable turn of events here very early in the game. As you see, number 47, Ahmad Spence, ball on the football. My goodness. Well, once the emotion settles down, the bottom line is you have to execute, and neither team has done that so far. Well, you know, we talked about the trick plays. Oklahoma State was going to run, but they had to execute them. So Oklahoma... Regains possession. They swing the pass out quickly. A lot of running room, and Oklahoma picks up major yardage on their first pass play. Pass was completed to Brandon Daniels. It's a quick screen to the outside. You're going to see on the bottom of your screen, Daniels is right here. The ball is going to be delivered perfectly, and this is almost like a running play because he gets the ball, he comes inside, he catches it, and he racks run after catch. That's a, that's a great way, Ron, of disguising a run. Throw the ball quickly out to a wide receiver. Pickup of 24 on the play, and the Oklahoma coaches have stressed. As soon as you catch the ball, turn up field. Penalty flag is thrown. We had some motion. And, you know, you talked about the word rack, but they have, in their completions this year, they've had almost 1,700 yards in run after Dead passing ball. passes. Ball start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Well, the Oklahoma offense is the number one passing offense in the Big 12. They're led by the junior, Josh Heupel, completing 62% of his passes. He's thrown 28 touchdowns this year. Just about every passing record in Oklahoma history. He has had a sensational year. And he's been the perfect fit for what Oklahoma does on offense. From the shotgun on first down and 15, Heupel throws it out of the flat, and the pass is again complete. And again, running room for Seth Luttrell. Latrell, his father, Jim Latrell, played in many OU-OSU games, picks up good yardage, pick up a 15 on the play, and that'll be another OU first down as we take a look at the rest of the Oklahoma offense. Stocker McDougal, the senior, the right tackle from Corsicana, Texas, is big, and he might be playing in the NFL next year. And, of course, we've already seen number eight, Brandon Daniels, the senior out of Ada, Oklahoma, the former starting quarterback. He is now their leading receiver. Oklahoma first and 10. Ball on the OSU 47-yard line. A lot of fireworks in the early going. Eiffel, little shuttle pass. To Clinton Griffin, he has some running room. Penalty flag is thrown right at the 40 as Griffin slips at the 35. Chris Massey on the stop. Oklahoma State has had some problems this year with the delay type of runs, the shuffle passes, the draws, because they do such a good job of rushing the passer, they're vulnerable sometimes to the draws and the quick hitting type plays. That time it's a hold against the University of Oklahoma. Steve Juszczyk, our referee this afternoon, part of an excellent Big 12 crew on, on hand for the game, and once again, Oklahoma will go backwards. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the start of the foul. 
Repeat first down. Well, when you talk about people having success here in Norman, you have to talk about Bob Simmons. We already talked about what he did when he was as head coach at Oklahoma State, but he was also undefeated as an assistant at Colorado and at West Virginia. He is 6-0 and against Norman, or against Oklahoma here in Norman. That's quite a record. Not many people can no. say that. Well, Oklahoma push back. It'll be first down, 14. Ball on the 49, and they run a razzle-dazzle. Heupel misses the block, and that is going to go absolutely nowhere. Fagan trying to get something out of it, and he is going to be dropped at the 45-yard line. And the OSU defense, as we mentioned, number 11 in the NCAA. They like to confuse and attack. Jaquay Thomas, a defensive end, a junior out of Houston, leads in both sacks and tackles for a loss. Kenyatta right. Middle linebacker, he anchors that middle spot. And Adam Edwards, the lone senior in the secondary, as they are missing three starters due to suspension. And, of course, Marcellus Rivers, the outstanding tight end, also suspended for this game. Big, big losses for the Cowboys. A very unusual formation here at the top of your screen with three wide receivers lined up in tandem. They call this their stack. It was successful against Texas Tech. But Heupel keeps it on the ground straight ahead to Josh Norman. What happened there is Heifel did not like the defense that Oklahoma State was using against that stack outside. So he audible to a run and elected not to throw the football. That is a passing formation. And as we talked about, this guy loves to audible at the line of scrimmage. And he is a lot of the reason why that third down success is so good for Oklahoma, because he audibles correctly most of the time. Now, he said he was terrible last year, audible, or last week, audible. Well, against penalty Texas. flag is thrown yeah. against Texas Tech. He said he didn't audible to the run enough, and he said he wanted to rectify it this week. Penalty flag before anybody even lines up. And, and like what that, substitution. And what that means, Ron, for our viewers, is the fact that he has got the right at Get the line back. of scrimmage. Full start. On the center. Pick the ball up. Five yard penalty. He's got the right at the line of scrimmage to change the play. Now, Bobby Stoops does not like that call. He says, hey, the center's got to move the ball. He's got to snap it. Oklahoma is not a penalized team a whole lot this year. They average only seven penalties a game for 56 yards, much better than they had last year. They were one of the most penalized teams. Yeah, and and that's, a, that's excellent. That's excellent. They only have seven a game. Well, they that's already excellent. have three this afternoon. Third down, now 21. Heupel under center, being rushed, he is going to be dropped. No, he gets away, and he gets the pass away, but it is incomplete. Terrell Knowles is the one who put the quarterback pressure on, number 32, the senior out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, but he got away from it. Well, Rob Ryan told us he was going to blitz. Now watch Knowles right here. He's going to come up, but credit Heupel for doing a great job of staying alive. Now what Knowles is just going to do, he's got to slow down because if the quarterback sees him coming, he can juke him to the side. That's exactly what happened. Good scheme, though, by Oklahoma State. Now Ferguson set to kick it away to Terrence Richardson. He is extremely dangerous, number seven in the NCAA. They were concerned about his returns. Richardson being backed up, takes it at the three. Backpedal, dropped immediately. 51 yards on the kick, nothing on the return, and Oklahoma State will begin possession with their backs to the wall. We have a timeout, 10-22 left to play in the first. We are scoreless. Sell out crowd of well over 80,000 inside a memorial.